Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Yami, and today we're doing a yoga flow that's gonna focus on really stretching the muscles. This is gonna be really great if you wake up kind of tight, sore, or if you wanna use it as a warm up for, before your exercise, or even a good night stretch before you go to bed. All you're gonna need is a soft surface or a yoga mat, and that is it. So we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna start at the top of your mat, so make your way towards the front of the mat. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. So again, I say this all the time, think that you have a piece of like a string on your head and it's pulling you up towards the ceiling. So a lot of us, we walk, we walk around kind of like slumped all day and we're just gonna get started working up nice and tall. So remember, you have that string pulling you up nice and tall, shoulders are pulled back. We're gonna inhale, close your eyes if you want. We're gonna inhale, arms raise up. Exhale, forward fold, nice and slow. Feel free to bend the knees here. Feel free to grab opposite elbow with opposite hands. Let go of the neck. You can also grab the back of your neck with your palms. That helps it loosen out a little bit. And if you wanna swing side to side, that also helps. When you're ready, release the arms. We're gonna inhale, flat back. Spine is nice and neutral. Exhale, forward fold. From here, we're gonna step back to plank. Holding here for three, two, one. We're gonna bring down the knees and slowly come down to our mats. Inhale, squeeze that core, exhale, cobra. So the only thing that's coming up is your chest. We're not forcing it right now. It's just as, as high as you can go without forcing it. No pressure on your hands. It's literally just your chest doing the work. Exhale, release. We're doing that one more time. Inhale, squeeze the core. Exhale, cobra. Firing up those back muscles, your core. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, squeeze the core. Exhale. This time you want to go up a little higher if you feel comfortable to do so. Just make sure that your shoulders are not by your ears. Bring some space between your neck or on your neck, really. Exhale, down. Now, I'm gonna scoot down a little bit onto my mat. We're gonna bring our hands out to a T. We're gonna go towards our right side. So you're gonna bring that left arm in by your shoulder, palm on your mat. And we're gonna lift up that left leg and bring it down towards our right side of our body. If you can't get your foot or the bottom of your foot onto the floor and it's only here, that's okay. Just do what you can and don't try to force anything. We're still in the very beginning of this stretch. So just inhale here. Don't try to force anything. Don't forget to breathe. The one thing I will say is don't hold your breath. One more breath here. And on that exhale, bring that left leg in to meet the right. And we're gonna switch the arm so the left arm is straight out. The right comes in by your shoulder. Inhale that right leg up and go towards your left side. You should feel a nice stretch in your chest. A little bit in your shoulder, your hips. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the right leg to meet the left. And bring that left arm in to by your chest. So from here, I just want you to lift up into plank and then just come onto all fours. So again, you want your form to be 100% here. So your wrist is always under your shoulder and your knees are always under your hips. We're just gonna do a couple cat cows here. So we're gonna inhale, belly's gonna drop, gaze comes up towards the ceiling. Exhale, push the mat away. Couple more, inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Last one, inhale, gaze up. Feel free to close your eyes. Exhale, push that mat away, really pushing the floor. And back to neutral. From here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck our toes. Hips come up into our first downward dog. Pedal out the feet here. Again, your hamstrings might be really tight like mine. Take it easy. 
and when you're ready to settle and when you're ready settle into that downward dog we're gonna skip the vinyasa for today we're just gonna get straight into our poses that are gonna really emphasize the stretch so we're gonna inhale that right leg up towards the ceiling as high as you can S square off the hips towards the floor exhale bring that knee towards your chest and drop the foot between the hands if your foot somehow just like lands here, feel free to grab that ankle and bring it up. That is okay. So we're here. You can shift your weight forward and back. <sighs> Try to have a nice, tall chest. Inhale, arms up towards the ceiling. You should feel a nice stretch in that left hip. And on the exhale, exhale, bring that left knee down towards your mat, untuck the toes, and we find ourselves in low lunge. So we're gonna inhale, we're gonna shift towards the front of our mat, bringing our arms forward. Ooh, that feels nice. And back. Feel free to flex the foot, the right foot. Inhale, forward. Exhale, flex the foot back. Feel free to bring those hands back and bring your chest a little bit closer to your knee. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. We're gonna do two more of these. Whoo, hammies. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, this time we're gonna bring our arms all the way up. And then we're gonna bring our right arm down towards our left leg or knee. If you can grab your calf, whew, that's a deep stretch. Get there. Or if this is all you can do, this is great as well. Holding here. Don't forget to breathe. Last one. Exhale, bring that right arm up and over, planting our hands onto our mat. We're gonna tuck the left toes under, bringing that right foot back to downward dog. Beautiful. Pedaling out the feet here. And when you're ready, we'll inhale that left leg up as high as you can. Remember, square off those hips towards your mat. And on the exhale, bring that knee towards your chest as close as you can get. And then drop the foot between the hands. We're shifting from front to back. Whew. And when you're ready, we're gonna inhale those arms up for a low lunge. Exhale, knee drops, untuck the toes. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. We're gonna inhale, arms forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, back. So this is definitely my tighter leg. So if one leg is tighter than the other, be cautious, you don't wanna injure yourself. So I'm moving a lot slower here when we come back because this is super tight and I'm actually kind of adjusting myself because I know my body. So just make sure that if you deal with any injuries that you do what you need to do. Don't necessarily follow me if something is bothering you. All right, two more. Inhale, exhale, flex that foot, beautiful. Inhale, last time. Staying here for about two breaths. Try to get your chest a little bit closer to that knee. Last inhale. And on that exhale, leaning towards the front of our mat on that left foot, arms come up. And this time your left arm is gonna come up and over towards that right calf. Again, if you can't reach it, that's fine. Arm can stay here or up towards the ceiling for a deeper stretch in that hip and holding here for three breaths. You can look down towards your right foot or up towards your right arm. One more breath. Exhale, bring that left arm down, left arm down. I said left arm twice. Bring that right knee up, that left joins for downward dog. Beautiful. 
Okay, so for this next one, I'm gonna mirror you guys. So you're gonna bring up your right leg. However, I'm gonna bring up the left so I can face you. So on the next inhale, inhale that left leg up or that right leg up, excuse me. Exhale, knee to nose, drop that left foot between your hands. Beautiful, stay here, find your balance. And when you're ready, inhale those arms up. Exhale, you're gonna turn towards the screen. Whew. So you should have your legs in a wide-legged stance on your mat. Toes are about 45 degree turned out. We're gonna inhale, come up towards the ceiling, forward fold. Holding here. If this feels kind of funny on your hamstrings, feel free to bring those toes in towards your midline. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Just hang here for a minute. Don't forget to breathe. Oh, I thought I heard a puppy. <laughs> inhale, forward fold, flat back. That didn't make no sense. Just do what, is that? do what I do, not as I say. <laughs> exhale, forward fold. You should feel a nice stretch in those hamstrings. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Now we're doing this so we can get a little bit deeper in each fold, right? So we'll inhale, stretch up. Exhale, get a little bit deeper. From here, we're gonna grab our right hand, put it right under our face. We're gonna inhale that left arm up towards the ceiling for a twist. Trying to keep your hips as square as possible. Holding here. Exhale, release the arm down. And you're just gonna replace the right with the left and inhale up that right arm for another twist. On the next exhale, we're gonna bring that right arm down to meet our left. Forward fold here. From here, we're gonna bring our heels in towards our midline for a squat. Exhale, bring those toes in. Squat down, chest up. Exhale, forward fold. Last time, coming down to a squat. And now this one's a little bit weird, but I actually kind of love that you're gonna grab your left arm Grab your right shin, and that right arm is gonna come up for another twist. Whew, this is nice and deep. So if this is too much for you, please feel free to leave that hand on the center of your mat. Two breaths. On the exhale, release both hands. If you wanna come up for a second to release your legs, forward fold. And we're gonna do the other side. So squat down with the right, grab that left shin, that left arm comes up towards the ceiling. I actually feel this in my back, like scapula area, my core, my hips. Exhale, release, forward fold. And when you're ready, we're gonna heel toe our feet in to our hips width distance. Take a second here and ragdoll. If you want to grab the back of your ankles for a deeper hamstring stretch. And when you're ready, we're slowly gonna roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, take your time here. We've been inverted for a long time, we don't want you dizzy with your head being the last thing to come up. Beautiful. We have one more. We're gonna get the booty. So, depending where you are, I want you to meet me in downward dog. So I'm just gonna come on down to my mat. Downward dog. Stay here for two breaths. You should feel a lot looser here, not as tight as we did when we began. We're gonna inhale that left leg up this time. 
and when you're ready, exhale, bring that knee to your nose as close as possible, hold it here, and we're gonna drop that left knee by that left wrist and settle into your pigeon pose. Now, the accurate pose is your left knee at like a 90 degree angle, but all of our bodies are not shaped the same, so if your left heel is close to your right hip, that's totally okay. Now, you have a couple choices here. You should already be feeling this in that left booty cheek. Now, what really helps if you can't square off your hips is to put a pillow under that left hip. So it'll prop you up or even just a block. So I don't have one right now, so I'm, I'm okay, but you have a couple choices here. You can stay up, up right here. You can bring those elbows down to your mat, or you can bring your palms together onto your mat and create a pillow and just rest here. Find what works best for you and stay there for a couple of breaths. And now feel free to stay here or you're gonna prop yourself up. We're gonna attack the quad right now. So staying nice and lifted, we're gonna bend the right knee, flexing that left, not the left foot, the right foot. You might have to arrange yourself a little bit. So bend that right knee. You're gonna bring that left hand in front of your left uh, uh, leg. With the right, we're gonna circle up and over, grabbing the ankle. If this is all you can do, I want you to stay right here. But if you can go a little bit further in that quad stretch, lift up a little bit higher, bring that right foot into the crease of your elbow. And then when you have found your balance, bring that left arm up and over and stay there. But again, feel free to just stay right here. A couple more breaths. Exhale, release, gently. We're gonna bring those hands back to the top of our mats, tuck those left toes, bring that left leg up towards the ceiling, flex out that foot. If you need to shake it out, do so. If you need some hip circles, and when you're ready, meet me in downward dog. Doing the same thing on the right side, we're inhaling that right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, holding here for a second and then dropping that right knee by the right wrist. Find your pigeon. Again, you can prop a pillow right under that glute to keep your hip square. Settle in, and when you're ready, just figure out what works best for you. You can stay up here. You can come down to your elbows or make that pillow and rest here. Take this time to kind of settle into the pose. Don't forget to breathe. Feel free to close your eyes and I will remind you when it's time to come up. One more breath. And as you exhale, slowly come up. If you didn't do this bind on the other side, then totally stay here. But if you did do the bind on the other side, I encourage you to try it on this side as well. So I'm gonna give you my back for a second, but what's gonna happen, we're staying nice and tall. We're gonna bring that right hand to the inside of that right shin. We'll bend the left knee. That left arm will come up and over, grabbing that left ankle. Feel free to point or flex, whatever feels best for you. And feel free to stay right here, or if you can, You'll bring that foot to the crease of your elbow. This one's a little bit harder for me, so if I fall, and then when you're ready, find your balance. My quad is so tight. A couple more breaths here. And on the exhale, release. Beautiful. We're bringing those palms back to the top of our mat, tucking those left toes under. When you're ready, that right leg comes up towards the ceiling, flex the foot, bend the knee, 
hip circles, shake it out, whatever you need to do. A couple more pedaling out the feet here in down dog. Okay, settle in. Two breaths right here. Exhale. On your next inhale, we'll lift up those heels. And we're gonna walk our toes to the front of your mat. You should feel much, much more loose now when you're ready, landing in flat back. I'm sorry, forward fold. Take this opportunity to stay here, to let it all hang, or if you want a deeper stretch, just grab the back of your ankles one more time. And when you're ready, release those hands. And we're just gonna roll up slowly with your head being the last thing to come up. And you are done. Thank you so much for joining me in this. If you're anything like me, you got a little bit of a sweat going on. You feel much more loose in the hips. Your hamstrings feel loose and you're ready to take on the day or even go to bed. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share with someone you think might find this beneficial. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I love y'all.